Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to download and install the generally available version of Windows Server 2025. Before we jump into the tutorial, if you're interested in purchasing a license for Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, Microsoft SQL Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so the first step is going to be to locate and copy your activation license key. In addition to this, whenever you purchase this operating system, you'll be provided with a direct download link to the image file. So if you've already purchased it, be sure to go ahead and collect these items before jumping into the tutorial. Or if you have yet to purchase it, feel free to check out Indigo Software as we will send you a direct download link and a license key within minutes of purchasing. Indigo Software is an authorized reseller of Microsoft software, but we have discounted retail prices. Okay, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're here on uh, Windows 11 Pro. We're going to start by accessing our Hyper-V Manager. We're going to create a new virtual machine for this installation so we can show you guys the entire demo. So I'm going to hover over New, and we're going to create a virtual machine. Click Next on the first page, and let's go ahead and title this. Let's go ahead and title this Windows Server 2025 GA, okay? We'll hit next here. I'm gonna make this a generation one machine. Let's click next. I'll leave my memory as dynamic memory and with a startup memory of four gigs, that's fine. We'll go with the default switch on the networking connection here. On the next page, this is where we're gonna create or use an existing virtual hard disk. I'll go ahead and make a new one and I'm just gonna make the size here pretty small. We'll go with like 15 gigabytes. Next up, this is where we select our image or ISO file. Let me just pull this up in my file explorer to show you guys what it looks like and where I'm storing mine. So I've saved it to this folder here and let's just take a look at the file. So as we can see, this is Windows Server 2025. This is the data center and this is the generally available ISO. Okay, so we're gonna navigate to that by hitting installing the operating system from a bootable CD slash DVD ROM and we'll select image file. So again, click this. So click install an operating system and click the image file. And let's just go back and navigate to where we're storing that. Okay, we'll click next and we'll hit finish. To make sure that we're gonna boot off of the CD, we just have to go to settings and usually it does this automatically, but from the BIOS tab, making sure the CD is all the way up, it should boot us off the drive. So let's go ahead and double click and launch this. We'll hit start. And as we can see, we're getting to the Windows Server Setup page, which is great. So we'll hit next on the language and the keyboard input. Here we're gonna to select to install Windows Server and we'll click agree. For now, I'm gonna select the standard evaluation with the desktop experience because in the next video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to use the command prompt to change it to the data center version. Okay, let's hit next. We'll hit accept on the agreement and we'll select our disk zero. This is a virtual disk that we just partitioned. We'll hit next. All right, and finally, we'll click install. We'll see you guys once this is done. All right, guys, the installation is just completed. So let me go ahead and enter my administrator password. Again, this is gonna be us selecting a new password for this. So make sure to keep this somewhere safe so you don't lose it. And I'll hit finish. Here we can select our display size and press connect. And I'm now prompted for the administrator password. And here we are on our homepage of server manager. So our installation was successful. We have a license valid for 180 days. This is the evaluation, the generally available version. And if we'd like to activate the software, we can simply hit Windows key and go to our settings. In the system tab here, we have a section for activation and we can easily change or enter our product key using this window here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about downloading or installing the generally available versions of Windows Server 2025, drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, other versions of Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If there's a video that you would like to see, please let us know as most of these requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.